This video is sponsored by Envato Elements. Welcome to a new episode of Guide Runner, a series where I casually guide you through the creation of a piece of my artwork, giving you a little insight into my thought process with a few tips and tricks along the way. This week, we are working with one of my favorite genres, creating an epic fantasy citadel. Once I have a general idea on the direction I want to go, I begin like I do with all my other images and compile a collection of both reference images for inspiration, as well as all the stock assets I'll need to bring my vision to life. It's then a good idea to spend a little bit of time creating a rough mock-up for the idea, just around 20 minutes to make sure the idea will work, and it'll also give me a simple blueprint to follow. I find this especially useful whilst working within this video format as there's little room for error. Here's a quick mock-up I created for this piece. It's very rough and you don't need to spend too long on it, but it's enough for me to greenlight the idea. If, however, it isn't looking all that great, then you haven't lost too much time and you can simply try another route. On some occasions, I might even make two or three different mock-up images for a piece, just to make sure I can get the best possible angle and outcome for the idea. Choosing the right stock assets is a crucial step for creating a realistic palette and atmosphere. I've tried to find images that have a similar direction regarding the colours and lighting. I want to keep as much consistency throughout the artwork as I can. In this instance, I found multiple images of the same landscape which doesn't require a lot of work to stitch together and will create a pretty solid base plate without the need for many colour or lighting shifts. This hill will work nicely for the center of the image, however, the direction of light is different to the rest of my base plate, so that's something I'll have to keep in mind and fix later. I like this little stream in the foreground which provides a nice realistic contrast of light, so I've dropped in another image which I can place in and cut out so that the water extends across the whole width of the image. Using a hard edged brush to mimic the hard edge of a stone, I can then cut out rock and pebble shapes along the edge. I wanted to create a bridge that combined both natural and man-made elements. I found this cool rocky outcrop image which should work well for the natural part of the bridge. I used the scale and distort tool to move it into place and then make a few lighting and colour changes as well as erasing sections of the rock to help it blend with the environment directly around it. I'm not too concerned with things blending perfectly at this point as I'll revisit them later. I'm just trying to get a decent base down. But before we continue, let's take a look at where I got all my stock images and 3D assets from to make this piece. Time to load up Envato Elements. As you've already seen, I needed some high quality landscape images to form my base plate. Envato Elements offers high resolution quality stock photos of pretty much anything. And you can filter these down by orientation to landscape, portrait or square. But a really awesome feature is the filter by colour, so if you want your overall creation to have a green vibe, select green in the filter options and that's a lot of green. With over 50 million assets, Envato Elements is the perfect resource to have at your disposal, whether you're in need of photos, music, sound effects or motion graphics. There really is something for every creative. But for me, the one thing that really sets Envato Elements apart from the rest is its 3D assets. I can't express how useful these are, to be able to find that perfect angle to suit your composition and download the already alpha channeled PNG and drop it right into your scene. And if you want to try another angle, simply adjust the asset and download it again. That's because you have unlimited downloads with Envato Elements, just download all the assets you want with one subscription. If Envato Elements is for you, they offer 50% off an annual subscription. So rather than paying $33 per month on a monthly plan, you'll be paying $16.50 per month on an annual plan. I'll drop a link in the description below. Just dropping in some more rock and grass forms which I can use to connect the bridge to the ground. 
Fortunately, the lighting direction and shadows match the rest of the image, so I won't have to make any changes there. This old wooden cart will make a nice addition for the composition. Ah, nice little rhyme there. And here we have Envato Elements 3D assets coming in proper handy. Bridges can be a tricky subject to work with regarding perspective, so it's very useful to be able to change the angle of these how I see fit and drop them into my workflow. I'll then mask away any parts I don't want. Although I haven't done it here, when working with the larger, more complex scenes, a good tip is to briefly flip your image horizontally. This allows you to see the image with different eyes and spot any funky bits of perspective that might need adjusting. I'm now beginning to introduce some buildings which will make up part of our fortification, this small city on a hill. This is definitely the hardest part of the image, but also the most important, and this will be the main focus. Again, I'm not creating perfect blends at this stage. I'm just setting the scene, trying to figure out the best placement whilst hinting at the lighting and color setup. I really like the tall walls on this castle image, which I can use to form the upper part of my fortification. I can use a nice textured brush to erase any parts I don't want so that it blends better with the rocks behind it. I like the shape of this airport building, which will work well for the central tower of this fortress. I don't want it to look too modern, however, so I'm going to delete certain aspects and keep the design more simple. It looks a little lot jutting out alone, so I'm going to include some surrounding towers, which will also help increase the overall size of the city. I can then make a few copies of these and just make a few changes so that there's varying sizes. The image is lacking a bit of storytelling, so I introduce a campfire in the bottom left, which also complements the composition nicely. Simple additions like this make the image a little more interesting overall and creates questions for the viewer, like who does this campfire belong to? It creates a little more engagement and hopefully makes the image a bit more immersive. Here I'm making the closer patches of grass a bit more orange just to give the middle ground and foreground a bit more separation. I'm then going to add a few more buildings and make some changes to the lighting and colours. As already mentioned, all of the images used in this piece came from Envato Elements, and for anyone wondering, this image took around 4 hours to complete.
Taking into consideration where the main light source is coming from, I then need to paint over any portions of the image that would be in shadow. A lot of these assets don't look planted to the ground, so I paint in some shadows underneath just to help with that. Nearing the end stages now, I'm painting over some lighting to help add depth and bring the colours together, adding in some light rays which always look nice, along with some birds to add a bit of life. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoy the final image reveal. Drop a comment below and hit that like button if you do. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell to stay notified about any new content.